This is the Halloween edition of our Saps Weekly, Spooky Sap Saturday. Spooky Sap Saturday. Tell, nothing has changed. It's exactly the same. Well, because no one here wears costumes or anything. No one here is fun. Emo did. Well, he did. But besides that, and no so one did is Bobby. Fun. Bobby has a killer costume. Have you seen it? He just put a box over him. <laughs> and an explanation put, point, too. He put on a box and called himself Solid Snake. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this grand final set between these two doubles partners, Psycho Maiko and Marco Polo. Psycho coming in from the losers bracket. Now, historically speaking, um, Marco has a uh, Zelda. No, Marco Polo has never taken a set off of Mike. So to, to win this, he's gonna have to keep him from winning two. So that's gonna be pretty hard for him, I think. Maiko busting out his patents if not Falco. Going for these hard punishes. Oh, oh he used it barely. Sucks. He definitely would have snapped ledge without using his limit. Uh, he should have gone for a neutral air there. A lot of people um, underestimate how powerful Cloud's neutral air can be when, he, when edge guarding. Because if you hit it right, you can hit them further off stage and make them use another recovery option. Wow. All right. That's one way to kill. <laughs> no, there's no way he's dead. Right. Falco proving he's a space degenerate by shooting Cloud with a gun and killing him. God. <laughs> Psycho takes the first stock in set one of Grand Finals. Psycho offstage, a beast of the ledge. Cooked by the back air, but there's, there's nothing he can't come back from. Especially if he gets Cloud to bust his limit. Burn, I mean. Yeah, Marco just wasting limit off of a down throw, even though it's not true at all. <laughs> oh, hits him with the landing hitbox of forward air. Snake is uh, going a little crazy in the background. <laughs> you, you can see him in the player camp. The play. <laughs> uh, nice down smash by Psycho. Yeah, that's death. There's no way he's coming back from that. <laughs> Psycho up 1 0 in this grand final set. Oh my god. Who's throwing boxes? <laughs> Everyone wants to be Solid Snake, apparently. God damn. That's Kobe, killer costume. <laughs> killer <Kobe>. costume. <laughs> <laughs> Is he passed out or? <laughs> yeah, no one's passed out. No one's on the ground. Yet. Yet. <laughs> I don't know. Mar Marco might be floored if he gets 3 0 by Psycho Maiko. But we're not talking about that yet. If it does happen, well, we'll talk about it then. Psycho so opening up game two with a little bit of a lead. Nice cross slash, catching him in the, with the extended hurt box. Ah, with two grabs. That's just a forward air is such a good combo. Paco is like a deceivingly good combo game. He's slow as fuck, but he'll hit you decently hard. Yeah. Goes for the down air again. I don't. I don't agree with this. Almost gets the back air off of the side B. Almost saccharize him. That's my favorite thing in this game. Get, getting combos with Fox and Falco's side B. It's so fun. Well, you can say it's fun. I don't really like it, but... <laughs> you can't complain. You beat me today. You can't complain about that. I, didn't, I don't think I saccharized you once in our set. You tried. You I tried to, it. but I didn't get it. But Falco go... Falco just saying, you know what, Fox can do this, I can too, and up smashes Cloud out of the out of the sky. One thing I think Marco should be capitalizing on is Falco's inability to land from the ledge without any sort of commitment. I, I say this a lot, but Falco doesn't have any fast aerials besides maybe neutral air and forward air to get back on the stage from a ledge hop. And I think Marco should be taking note of that. Cloud has limit, he's probably gonna bust it soon, considering how Marco plays. Yeah, there it is. That's really 
really good at covering tanks. I never really thought about it. Because it's like a, it's a lingering oh, hitbox, so even stuff. if he air dodges to the ground, he's still gonna get hit. You're right. Okay. Michael trying to combo back air to back air. Oh, that could have been a forward air or I something. I almost don't like this because playing at the ledge like this against Falco, you're just gonna back throw your. Yeah, make you lose the yeah, Marco needs to take into consideration what he can do while on, while on stage and off stage. Uh, Mike could have gone for a reverse forward air. That's something I don't see a lot of people do in general. Just uh, go off stage with a, and like turn around to try to catch him coming up. But Marco SDs. Psycho takes game two. We're in a game three situation. That could result in a 3-0, resetting the bracket. One thing I was saying before is that players in this area commit way too much to hard punishes, and that usually gets them losses in their games. Marco sort of demonstrating that by just going way too hard to try to take off Michael's stock. One thing I will say about Marco is that his spacing with the Buster Sword is very good. He'll attack your shield and drift back very slightly to avoid getting shield grabbed. And he's really good at auto canceling the dare too. Because mm -hmm. he'll land and then you'll think you can punish him, but he'll just jab out of it. Jab or down tilt. Okay. Mark trying to go for the down smash to take off a stock early. But he probably wouldn't come back from that. He's Falco. Mike Alm, or not Mike. Marco Alm says one. There we go. Okay. <laughs> How's he, how's he gonna use it? How's he gonna take this? He's gonna have to move. Okay. Good job of Marco reversing that, hitting hitting Falco as he drifted down with him. I like how Marco's auto canceling these down airs, but good down smash, I guess. <coughs> I don't like how Marco that his only landing option the cloud. Because um, one thing that uh, Falco could do is that he could bait up. Oh, why is he air dodging so much? One thing Michael could do when, to combat these down airs is to run a little away from him and just back air him. Because the hitbox is only huge below him. He doesn't have any sort of priority on the sides. And considering Falco is one of the strongest moves is his back air, that could be something he could look out for. Mike's got to close this back air. There we go. Gets the back air. I think that was out of shield, too. Good air dodge, avoiding the forward air. Okay, this could be the start of something. Oh! I like the idea. That was cool. He never goes for that down air, so I doubt Marco was expecting that. Oh, okay. Almost has the down smash. One thing that I'm notorious for in this area is getting the fair footstool with Fox. And I know Falco has a very potent forward air for dragging people down, so maybe that's something Mike could be going for now. Oh, shield's getting pretty low. Oh, no jump. How's he gonna get back to stage? He doesn't. In the last two games, Marco, Marco's SDs have caused him to set. Now, Mike with the reset, back to the 0-0 zero zero situation, in set two of Grand Finals. Good. Will this be a 6-0? Will Marco win the tournament? You'll find out at the end of the set. That was cheesy, I know. <laughs> Falco doing what all foxes wish they could do, up their up air. That'd be so good in this game. Clips it with the up air. Like, narrowly avoids. Up air to forward Uh, for a fox? I mean, Falco? Yeah, it is. One thing that was interesting is that Falco, like, his foot curved around the Buster Sword and that let him hit uh, Cloud's body. Marco almost had a 100% deficit. He's got to figure out something new to do. Or he's just going to get punished like that. 
A lot of the Smash decks are in just like, you know, meeting Mike's shield just isn't great. Mm -hmm. So. I like the idea, but in that situation, that wasn't the optimal thing to do. And Mike almost with the full stock, almost with the full stock lead here. Bates out the spot dodge with the down tilt. Punishing jabs. Mark Mark was just landing on his shield. <coughs> Fans on stage of the up of the um, Firebird. Wow. He's fine, he's fine. Had he gotten the strong hit, I think Cloud would have died. A strong hit of back air. Uh, probably, yeah. They're pretty close to the top. And Mike's going for these out of shield back airs, which has gotten him so much mileage. He's just wasting his limit trying to edge guard. Down air has way too much lag to be of any use in edge guarding. What's over there? <laughs> well, if he wants to conserve his limit, I mean. Marco forcing his way back in, but immediately loses it again with the spot dodge down smash. Second Marco up game one and set two. This does not bode well for Marco Polo. Not out to change. This cloud's the best, guys. I like this pick from Marco. He can catch, um, he can catch Mike on the platforms easily with up air if he auto cancels it. But this also gives Mike a few more landing options. That was a pretty cool combo. Kind of going with what you said about Fox having it, Falco having a deceptive combo game. Oh, that could have been a back air to force him to use his recovery. Marco has a limit. How's he gonna use it? Yeah. I like I like him. I like Marco drifting uh, away from Mike to avoid getting hit. But Falco, his airspeed is way too good. This could this could spell death. Oh, he almost spikes him. Bad down tilt. Gets grabbed. That this might be that weird. Oh, no. Wrong. Really bad dash attack. Trying to catch him. <coughs> okay. Falco off stage. Nice. Marco. Marco Polo is committing way too hard in this in this set against one of our most patient players. That's just not a good idea. I could have like been that could have been bad for Mike had he not uh, shielded the forward smash. It might have different because like. Otherwise, uh, Marco's just been using forward smash punish rather than actually trying to beat. Right. One thing I'm noticing about Marco's play with Cloud while he has a limit, he's not electing to use any of, Mar of Cloud's normals. Like his aerials, his jabs, tilts, he doesn't use any of it. Maybe to attack shield and bait a reaction, but he usually just doesn't do anything and just opts to go for a limit attack. He hasn't really been using tilts much at all. Except for down tilt. Down tilt yeah, but uh, his forward tilts are good, like poking distance. Mm -hmm. And you don't move forward to give your opponent a chance to punish. That was a horrible forward smash. Okay, same situation as the start of the game. If he can get this limit, he does have a good shot at taking this, but he's got to play safe and pull him. Right. And I don't think Mike's going to give him any chance to charge. Falcon might have a slow run speed, but he has good options to sort of make you approach. And in this situation, Marco has to approach. He's at a percent deficit. 
I doubt this is gonna go to time. I like the up smash. Uh, <laughs> uh, Marco panics and he just wants to he wants to win so badly he doesn't think. He just throws it out, expecting it to hit. And that's just not smart against Mike. Now, Marco might change because he's gone five games down with this cloud. But let's see what he does. Okay, ops to stay. I respect that. Brings it back. This is another thing that people don't consider much is the, the mental strain you have of losing a set in Grand Finals 3-0 from winners and then having to win another set again. I, that, I can just be so draining with people. I can understand uh, any sort of frustration Marco might be having now. Okay, both players just spacing around each other. That was a good grab from Marco. Good read on the roll. That's a good start. Let's <coughs> see. Just continue it for six games. So. Okay, gets his limit. How's he gonna use it? Ooh, oh, good tech. He's probably gonna use cross slash right now. Oh, it doesn't. I thought for sure he was gonna do it to read a roll. He can't just throw it out carelessly like that. Lady Panera's gonna. Just rushing in blindly anymore. I think he's thinking about his actions. Falco could have down tilted, but popped him up. I like these running tilts to create more space. Okay, back throw, he's probably gonna have to burn it. I like that option actually. Yeah, it was different. That's death. Even if he hadn't gone into the blast zone, there's no way he would have charged limited in time to get back. Marco Polo on his grand final stock. At risk of getting second place at Super Smash. Spooky Smash Saturday. <laughs> Spooky Smash Saturday. <laughs> We're also used to saying saps for everything. Okay, Marco. Okay. Mike controlling center stage, forcing Marco into the corner. I like the idea, maybe if he had charged the forward smash a little bit. Mike's applying the pressure now, he knows that uh, Marco's really shaky. He knows Marco's feeling it, feeling the stress. This could be it, this could be the end of... Oh, good air dodge. Ah, oh, he wastes the limit, he thought he was charging still. That's it. 6-0 from Psycho Maiko to take Spooky Smash Saturday. <laughs> Wait, is that what this tournament's called? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to Psycho Maiko, our Grand Finals champion. <coughs> and that's it. Let's play with your commentator. How to do it more. We'll be here. Follow me on Twitter at... No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, Leo with the Twitter. All right, I'm going to end it.